You're on 94.5 FM, Larrakia Radio, and joining us in the studio once again for another edition is, of course, uh, two fantastic people who are part of the Reflections 2 tour that are taking place between the north of the Kimberleys in WA, heading down, down to Perth. And that, of course, is Greg Sheehan and the one and only Mark Atkins. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome, Ken. You're welcome, man. Uh, so please tell me, where is the tour going to be going on? I know it starts in Kununurra, and from there, where does it go? Yeah, we start off in um, Kalanara and then um, Kalanara, I mean, and then uh, our last gig is in um, in Perth. Anyway, there's a lot in between there as well, so maybe Greg can handle that. Yeah, we're going to Fitzroy Crossing and uh, Derby. Is it Derby or Derby? Yeah, Derby. <laughs> Derby, Derby. <laughs> Broome. I think we're going up to Beagle Bay. Yep. And uh, Lombardina. Yep, Lombardina or Juddigan. And cool. then then the Perth, yes, yeah, so we'll be travelling through some beautiful country. Fantastic. So you'll be also heading to schools as well. Uh, yeah, we're going out to um, a lot of the, uh, well, a few uh, communities, um, which is always um, one of my favourite parts of it as well, you know, just going there and um, seeing the kids and that and seeing their faces and their eyes light up when, uh, you know, we're there, the meet and greet sort of thing, which they don't get a, really, a lot of chance to see um, um, people like ourselves, you know, unless they go into major cities or somewhere to sort of see us so it's um yeah i've done a lot of um work in uh, mostly central desert and working communities um with music with the kids and one of the things <coughs> i thought i should bring along this tour is a whole lot of toys kids <laughs> kids toys <laughs> and they yeah. absolutely love it so should be fantastic on that sense the g tour yeah. <laughs> excellent now uh, how did you both get involved in the tour itself this is your second uh, time that you've been with the reflections tour and this is your first greg that's right yeah, yeah. well me and uh, greg have uh, worked um well, a few years now um uh, off and on um, um mostly through um uh, black armband ah yes of course uh traveling with the dirt song yeah yeah mm. the dirt song. and uh yeah you the uh, Toss, who uh, manages the whole thing, and it's his his uh, his baby, so to speak. He he uh, he knew Mark and um, and knew of me, I suppose. And um, yes, yeah, so this is my first time. I'm re- so excited about it, and um, especially travelling with um, Steve Pigram too, because it's going to he's a great storyteller. Yeah, for sure. And just sitting in the four wheel drive, driving through his country, and he's telling us some stories. It's going to be fantastic experience. Yeah, Stephen loves to talk. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what's it, that, speaking of, you're also going to be touring with a lot of uh, big people out oh. there. Uh, Steve, like, we've, we've just mentioned Stephen Pegram. Uh, of course, the biggest and the best, Toss Mahoney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as well as a whole bunch of others. You're also uh, touring with more of a jazz style musicians that are going through. Yeah, we've got, well, we've got um, Steve, Cello. Yeah, and we've got Steve Magnuson, who's uh, on guitar, is one of the world's best, I reckon. Oh, wow. Great guitar player. And a couple of classical musicians. Cello. Yeah, cello, violin, so it's uh, very eclectic. We're having our first rehearsals tomorrow, but we're also... I thought we already had it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're also uh, going to be uh, collaborating with some local musicians on the way, which is going to be really exciting. That's amazing. And it might be, um, yeah, it'll be really on the edge of your seat sort of thing because we might go into a community, meet someone, have a little collaboration work out what we can do and then um that's it we do a concert that night so it can be a little perilous but mm. it's exciting <laughs> oh, fantastic you know the, the big question i do have to ask about that is how do you actually come up with the idea to incorporate different stylings into using a ditch well yeah i mean that's that's what i've loved about it i suppose um i mean uh, originally i was uh, i was um well, 30 years ago i was sort of getting into traditional sort of style and that and then um, uh, I said to my uncle you know um, what can I do to sort of change it you know like without having to go out and play traditional pieces and have permission to play them and that and well he just sort of said to me he says well just change it boy so and my background then was um, I was playing in pubs and clubs since I was 14 um, you know my misspent youth playing um, just a rock and roll drummer so um, a lot of my uh, developed my sort of dig style, I suppose, just from from that. And but, but playing in bands and, and working with um, other musicians and that, and different uh, genders or styles, um, I, I knew what the other instruments were doing, and, and I had to sort of look at how 
can I um, uh, complement that other instrument as yeah, well? Yeah. So it was all about, you know, I had a sort of bit of a head start there. So um, playing classical, playing um, Celtic, or playing reggae, or rock and roll, or tentative or indie, or whatever. So um, yeah, uh, it was a, to me, it was just having a conversation with the um, the other musicians or the other the, the instrument itself. So I see. Uh, and for yourself, what will you be bringing into the tour as well, Rick? Well, um, first of all, I suppose um, 46 years of um, being professional Fantastic. and travelling around the world. And um, one of the instruments I'm going to play is uh, the humble tambourine. Sure. Um, if you need a triangle player. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah. me. no, you're the oblong player. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, but look, I, you know, I've, I've played, like, like Mark, I've played all sorts of different styles, so I'm really um, sort of really open to, um, you know, expressing, yeah, yeah. you know, whatever I can through the music. And um, I've bought a lot of little textual things and that, but obviously I'll give the boys a good beat behind their songs yeah. as well. Oh, he's good for that. <laughs> Uh, now, so the Reflection Tour will be starting in Kananara. Uh, can you give me some of the dates and times and places that you'll be performing at? Okay, so um, Kananara is the 3rd to the 6th of September. Uh, Warman, mm -hmm. the 6th to the 7th of September. Wonga Jung. Junker, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. 8th of September, Fitzroy Crossing, that's easy. 9th to the 10th, Derby, the 11th to 12th of September, Beagle Bay, the 14th, One Arm Point, 15th September, uh, Lombardina, 16th September, Broome, the 17th and 19th. And then we're going down to Perth, the 21st of September. Fantastic. So basically you're touring in my uh, home country, which I find great. Cool. Uh, and it's, I'm very excited. Do you have any other things you'd like to talk about the tour or yourselves? Um, no, well, for me, um, uh, I'm just looking, um, looking forward to it, you know. And, um, um, and most of these musicians I've, I've, I've played with, uh, I shouldn't say most, it's, um, uh, oh yeah, most of them are. I will say, yeah. Most of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm really myself um, looking forward to it, and and it's and it's good because uh, I'm you know I'm doing a um, you know, sort of reinventing myself again, sort of thing, sort of um, doing some writing and sort of narrations and songs. So to get back out of that country again, because uh, it's close to home for me too, um, uh, is going to be inspiring, and and hopefully I can you know write and finish some um, stuff. Yeah. Excellent. And for yourself. Yeah, well, I just wanted to say that when I was a kid, I saw a drummer when I was only two and I thought he was a magician and I wanted to emulate that. I actually got home and broke a couple of twigs off a branch and turned a bucket upside down and <laughs> I haven't really stopped. And so I love the feeling of going to communities and then um, hopefully inspiring some of the kids. and uh, To break sticks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hit a few buckets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 uh, I completely sympathise with that. I love the idea of uh, getting children out there to learn yeah. new things and uh, understand how music works in a different mm. capacity. It's, all, it's not always just instruments. You can always start very small. Mm. Yeah. And they can also see the joy of it. Like oh, We yeah. have so much fun. We're passionate and that passion also brings joy. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, now, I do have to ask one thing before we head off and uh, set up for uh, a song that you'll be playing. Um, is uh, what is next after the Reflections Tour for both of you? Uh, well, um, for me, um, oh, I'd like to just sort of kick back a little bit and, um, uh, as I was saying before, uh, record um, some of my new stuff. Oh, wow. So a new album we can expect? Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, you'll have to come in and bring it in. We'll be happy to play it on air. Well, I'd love to. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, and yourself, Greg? Um, well, I live in Mullumbimby, northern New South Wales, and okay. there's a beautiful festival that happens each year. And um, I'm actually, I've just started collaborating with this wonderful uh, Samoan Australian fellow called Bobby Alu, or Charles Walls, his real name. And it's two percussionists, and we just played at a festival and it went so well. So we're going to be doing that. The last festival we played at was at Bellingen in northern New South Wales. Okay, and yeah, yeah. I was a very busy man. Over three days, I did 18 gigs. <laughs> <laughs> I know wow. too many people. They say, Greg, can you come up and play with us? <laughs> so thank you very much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, please don't go anywhere. You'll be listening to Mark Atkins and Greg performing live in the studio in only a few moments.
Amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Mark and Greg. That was absolutely fantastic. It's good to hear great Aboriginal music with, performed with Dig so well live in our studios. And of course, they'll be a part of the Reflections 2 tour, which is uh, taking place between Kananara heading down to Perth. You're 94.5 FM and in the studio, my name is Calum. Thank you once again for joining us.